Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we are going to do a little trick with white school glue and with a white crayon. Now, I'm going to show you. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, a little bit. Can you see the glue on there? If I do that, you can. You see all that glue? That's just white school glue that I put. I don't know. I was playing around trying to do spider web. Uh, you know, but that's that's what I got. So I have that. And then over here, I don't know if you could see it. You will, it'll come out when the um, water hits it. It is white crayon. And right here I have some watercolors. These are mica, but you can use any watercolor you have, any marker that's watercolor that you have. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a little bit of um, food coloring if you don't have watercolor just to play around. And I got my brush and I'm going to start small. Maybe I'll go big. Maybe I'll, let's see, go big or go home, right? Let me do this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it into a dark blue, the dark blue mica. And I want it real nice and watery. And I want to pick up a lot of product. I sprayed this already. So it started and watch what happens. I did not gesso this page, although you can if you want. Look at this. And this is watercolor. This isn't even, you can use acrylic. You sure can. Paint on it just a little bit. And see how the paper is picking up. You can see, now just wait. And over here, I'll use some of the lighter blue. Look at that. You can see it right. <laughs> see it real good there. A little bit more water. Get a little darker too. Look at that. I don't think this has black. I think it just has this delicious silver. Let's put that in there too. Love it. Okay. So now you can leave it like this with that on top and it kind of looks like it's embossed and all that. But what I like to do is once it's dry, I'm going to take a paper, a towel or rag, whatever you have. And I'll do it over here first. And I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Now, because this is watercolor, you know, it's going to come up a little bit, but look at that. Look how awesome that looks. So if you're doing an ATC card, an art journal page, a painting, whatever your little heart's doing, ATC card, look at this. You can just have white crayon and I'm going to, I had my white crayon sitting here, but what does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? If I have to look around, I lose everything. <laughs> here it is. I thought I still had it. So I'm going to show you this in real life. Now the glue, it's harder because you have to do it and let it dry for like 24 hours. Um, but let's just have our white crown here and you know, what do I love? I love hearts. I love hearts, 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 and you can use a stencil as well. Let me see if I have any stencils I can use. All right. We so see we have the heart there. Um, Oh, let's try the stencil. Oh, all right. I'll just do it over here. It's just this one, but you definitely can go in. And add some color, some white, I'm sorry, some white, but as if you're coloring. Oh my God, my head. Okay, Cal. I need to go to bed. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. Okay. And I'm just kind of scribbling, you know, but you get the, you get the gist of what you'll do with your white crayon. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to take my brush. Now I'm going to do over here. I'm going to save the heart for the uh, other stuff. Let's do a purple. It's my favorite color. You can use your twinkling H2Os, any, any water that, you know, you can use your um, acrylic paint too. Just water it down. You want water to be in here, right? But look at how that works. Look at that. So then what we would do is once this purple is dry, just like the blue, we're going to give it a quick wipe. Now, 
that's fun. Fantastic. Let's do a little bit of the food coloring. How about we do, I don't have red, any red left, but I have some blue. And since we're on the path of blue, why not? I'm going to put a couple drops right there because I'm only using it for a little bit. Of course you use, you know, if you have a bigger page and I got my wet brush Look at that. and you can make it whatever color you want. Look, all right, that's watercolor you can get at the dollar store. All right, let's go over all of it because let's go over half of this. I'll take a little bit more and just run it. Oh, yes, a little bit more water, pick up the rest. Oh, gosh, okay. All right, so we see. This, this food color is so nice. Okay, it's just your normal food color. <laughs> all right, okay, so you see did that. So you see, you could definitely look at the food coloring. What the heck? Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go and I'm going to wipe off the glue. And what happens is you get all that extra paint off there. So this definitely, you can see, you kind of have to not, I don't want to say scrub the paint. The glue won't come up, but you need to give it a little bit of a you know, and you might even want to put a little more water. Yeah, see how that comes up? You know, it just takes a minute. Like over here, it's really dark. My phone's going off like bandits. Okay. And then you see how it comes off. Look at that, how pretty, how white. So you have some faux modeling paste with Elmer's school glue. Say what? I'm saying it now I'm going to wipe the heart off, but that did its own thing as well as that. And I can go back in and spray it a little bit and take a clean part of the paper towel or a rag. Look at that. Look, look at that. Just a little more. Look at this with, okay. I'm just saying, I wish I would have saved some of that. Uh, so you can see, you don't want to rub too much, you know, or anything like that. But look, we have these great backgrounds now. So now, I mean, this is just food coloring. Let's pick another color real quick just to play with that. Let's do yellow. Why not? Oh, because I love playing and that's probably part of my problem in life. Okay. Oh, bottom pen. White crayon. Get a white crayon at the dollar store. Um, now, I wonder if I color on these, is the wax going to protect it? as I put more colors, right? So I'm going to not doing anything too fancy. I'm just going to draw down there. I'm going to go here, just a dripple, a drop, a dripple. I don't know what it is. My brush, I want to rinse off. Don't want any color on it. Look something yellow. <sighs> Look, look what it's doing. Look how it's resisting all that crayon, but look at the color. Now look, I'm mixing the blue and the green. What are we, I mean, the blue and the yellow, what are we getting green? And look, that's the wax right there. Now it's not doing too much resisting on the other stuff, which is fine with me, but look, you have that. I'm just going to wipe a little bit more and whatever color is left. Look at that. Look at that. It's magical. All right. Now I'll just take my rag and lightly wipe off the white. And look, look what we did. White crayon. School, white school glue. So you see, you can sit and you can use your food coloring. You can use your white crayon. You can use your white school glue if you choose, and you can make a background. And then when it's dry, you have a delicious background. Now I could fold this up, cut it out for, like I said, ATC cards or whatever, but you can have a mixed media background right here. And I didn't use any stamps. I didn't use anything other than white school glue, a white crayon. I used a little bit of watercolor, which you can get Crayola or whatever you have, or you can use food coloring and look at the different little, just a few techniques 
nothing major, just a lot of fun to sit down and use things from home to get your uh, art journaling going. So I hope you guys liked this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, share me all over like I'm your loose friend. I'd appreciate it greatly. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for uh, a new video. I usually put up maybe five a week, five, six, if it's a good week. And I love taking your requ requests. So if you have any requests, just ask. And that's it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.